My brother gave me a sword. I named it Nita. No two ways about it. Slithering snails by the baskets. Oh. Go, go. <laughs> what will the morrow bring? I dreamt I was a wolf. Ah. Mm. Take it easy. <laughs> Let's go. Slower. Everything's busy. Oh. Am I invisible? I won't go. I simply won't go. Out. Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of? Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from me. I for... know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because she turned her back on you? Then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? 
Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Though she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only cause you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you, and forgive her? Why should I? For old time's sake. You loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together, were inseparable. Honorietta'd get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good, sometimes only the bad. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? Sienna, you were exiled when she was how old? Twelve? Thirteen? She was a child. What was she supposed to do? Rebel? Organize a coup? Steal your father's seal and forge a pardon? She was powerless. Wiped you from her memory not because she didn't care, but because your departure was traumatic for her. She forgot because that was the only way she could handle the pain. Ugh. You really want a happy ending, don't you? Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher. Or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Farewell, Sienna. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Want to see him too. Damien. Geralt! It's about time. Ready for the ceremony. All right, we can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. 
Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, Slayer of the Beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlaf. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Bitterness consumes Siana. She had cause to resent many of the court of Beauclair. I know her reasons, understand them even. But I can't condone the actions she chose to take. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the elder. The ministers I can understand. 
They'd hated me since I was a child, thought Mia. Poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents. I'd always sensed the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. Claim to understand them all? Why'd you come back for revenge? Have them all cut down, then? They deserved my vengeance. They detested me, all of them, as long as I can remember. But Honorietta understood me. Once. She was all I could cling to. Her betrayal hurt the most. You were children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish bladders, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark, and which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bold patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace, supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you. Sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? Best part of the whole ceremony? It was short. Perhaps for you, as you ducked out early. The others were probably just getting started. The drunkenness never ends in this Queen realm. Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine guild. Good in small sips. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diavolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me?
You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I'm a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me old. for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Damn it, where'd you go? Regis! Damn it, where'd you go? Say, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I've an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming. 
staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which, of course, brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. to go home. Days pass, the pile of work remains. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Geralt, here at last. Dandelion? What the hell are you doing here? I'm not here. I'm a figment of your imagination, because you really want me to be here. Brought you a housewarming gift. It's also an illusion. How do you like it? Makes you look dignified and manlier than in real life. Does it? The painter's a friend of mine. Could be she gave me slightly broader shoulders? Well, I'm sure. Don't doubt it. But didn't I see this painting at your place? This is its perfect replica, and it's yours. To remember me by. Good. So, Geralt, important to remember. If anyone asks, I'm not here. Last time I was in Toussaint, enjoying myself, true, 
Honorietta, that is, the Duchess, got a little carried away. Banished me from the duchy on pain of death. I wouldn't want to ruffle her feathers without cause. Wise, especially since she's been through quite a bit recently. I've heard some rumors, but I'd love a first-hand account. Does it have the makings of a ballad? Well, going to show me around? Tell me the story? Of course. Let's go. Luckily, Siana made up with Honorietta. Seems to have abandoned her plans. She's locked up now, awaiting sentencing, really. Most think the Duchess will forgive her. Might take some time, but... What? A story? Seems I missed quite a lot. <sighs> Shame I didn't write here with you. Though, truth be told, had my hands full back home as well. How's business? You and Zoltan still have your tavern? Or has he embarked on some new venture? You know him. We'll share a jug of mead and he'll go on about some new plan he's got. Nothing ever comes of it. So, we're still there. Recently, we discovered Novograd's largest wine importer was a lying cheat, watering down his wines, but so clever, you'd never taste the difference. So how'd you figure out he was up to something? This one day I was feeling down in the muck. Decided to lift my spirits by, well, getting a little drunk. Actually, replace a little with really. So I knocked back a bottle, nothing. Then another. Maybe a slight buzz. Might not be a lightweight anymore. Could be those years of training have finally paid off. Come on. It took me five bottles to start seeing double. I thought, huh, might just be a weird day. So I tried the same thing the next morning. Exact same result. I told Zoltan. He tried it and confirmed my findings. So we decided to ask the importer some tough questions. The man cracked. I threatened to tell everyone about his trickery unless he gave me a discount. How are you, old friend? Not well, unfortunately. After you left Novigrad, this one day, Priscilla was attacked in the street. She was wounded badly. It took a long time to recover. Luckily, she's better now. What are you talking about? Who the hell attacked her? Still looking for the bastard who hurt her. Once I find him, he'll regret what he did. Regret the day he was born. Sorry, Dandelion. Sorry I wasn't around. You've got your own problems, your own priorities. Can't expect you to be at my side whenever anything goes wrong. Besides, it's Priscilla. So I need to handle this. Plan to stay long? Don't know yet, but... Might stay a little while. I've always loved Beauclair. The place is made for poets. What'll you do here? City's full of knights errant, and they all want ballads immortalizing their deeds. Get this. I've already been approached by a knight who spent years battling the weather. Says he's got a real bone to pick with gusty storms. Battles the weather? How's that work? Dunno. Promised to show me when the time was right. There's another who's vowed to move a mountain that's blocking his ailing mother's view of the sunset. So he's moving it. One stone at a time. Sole worry is that his mama won't live to see him finish. <laughs> You're right. Prime ballad material there. Glad you came. We'll have some good talks. See you later, Dandelion. See you, Witcher. how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. 
Yes, years of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah? After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now. But to you, well... Perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember... You always have warm food awaiting your return. A pleasure to welcome you once again to the as yet humble confines of Corfo Bianco. When last we met, I did not get the opportunity to present my credentials. With your permission, I shall do so now. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman. A truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say. He chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, Misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide, in order to treat them to his wine, and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Thanks. Gotta get back to... 